Hello? Gotani? You, you guys are gonna put the post up now, right? You're, you're gonna you're gonna say something because it's, it's been five days and they, they like everybody's freaking out. We don't know what's going on. The game isn't working. We've been sitting in queue for a hundred minutes. Well, you take you're, you're you're removing the map. You you, you guys you, you just added the map. It's been in the game for for six days. You're taking out that too. All right, guys. Um, we we may have an issue. We may have an issue. Uh, so I was just informed of uh, this post that you guys are may, may or may not have seen. Um, so let, let, let's read it together, shall we? We have confirmed that the two following issues are currently occurring in the game. Wow. <laughs> issues? Breakers? No way! Uh, increased matchmaking times due to the higher than expected number of players selecting Raider as their desired role. So it seems like the issue with the queue times was actually due to um, Raider queue and there being more amount of Raiders than Survivors, which honestly is a little disappointing in me or disappointing to me just because I really think that Survivor is the more fun way to play this game. Raider is fun, of course, when they release a new, release a new character like Brilliant, really everybody's going to play them. So I feel like maybe it's not necessarily Raider queue. Maybe it's just so the timing of it. I mean, you, you're welcome to disagree, but I feel like if you're going to do like introduce Raider Q, maybe during one of the hypest Raider releases of all time for this game wasn't the best idea to, to introduce it because of course everybody's going to want to play Raider. It's the new Raider, right? But just my two cents. On rare occasion, uh, item boxes may become stuck inside walls on the dangerous ground map, causing issues with the game progress. To resolve these issues, the following fixes will be implemented. During the maintenance, the map Dangerous Ground will become inaccessible. Wow. Um, Flex Raider will automatically be selected on the role selection screen when selecting Raider. Hold on. Let me let me make sure I'm reading this right. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm sorry. I, I really do apologize. Uh, Flex Raider will automatically be selected on the role selection screen when selecting Raider. They, they removed Raider Q. <laughs> they removed Raider Q, bro. We had Raider Q back for a total of six days. A whopping six days, guys. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We deeply apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience and cooperation. Oh, yeah. We've been pretty patient. We've been pretty patient. Okay. Have they, have they said anything else on the Twitter since this? Completion of temporary maintenance. It's so funny because I was actually sitting in Raider Q and then I got booted out because the game just suddenly had maintenance out of nowhere uh, another issue we have found an issue where in rare cases the game or uh the device and you and use may crash during a transformation with the super transfer on certain platforms i experienced that firsthand dude my action my whole playstation actually shut down wow we kindly ask for your patience as we work on a solution. We deeply apologize for the inconvenience. And well, thank you. Thank you for apologizing, man. Because I, I was a little concerned. Considering in fact, my PlayStation just abruptly shut down. All right. Well, with that being said, I will be turning off the lo-fi. And we will be going back to the game. We will be seeing if, in fact, they have officially removed Raider Q. Uh, here we go, dude. I can't wait, man. I can't wait to see it. Is it going to be grayed out? Are they going to gray, gray it out again? Because that, that would sure be something, dude. That would sure be something. That, that would... <laughs> oh man, that would that would make me smile. Wow. Alright guys, so um this just dropped and I dropped the video. I don't know when this is going up here tomorrow or the day after. If this is going up on Tuesday. This was yesterday and I already had like a whole rant and discussion. Okay, uh we have an amber alert at the top. Uh please visit the mailbox robo for more details. A notice has been prepared regarding matchmaking role selection following the 11-6 maintenance. Okay, all right, time to read, dude. I love reading. I am a Dragon Ball fan. I like to read, as you can see. I am a businessman. I like to read. Regarding issues on certain maps, this is the Dragon Ball The Breakers development team. Hello, Dragon Ball The Breakers development team. Really glad that you guys are letting yourselves be known now. This has been like four to five days without you guys saying anything, but I'm glad you're, glad you're talking to us now, man. Glad you're talking to us now. Anyways. An issue has been discovered in which item boxes may become stuck inside walls on the dangerous ground map that was added in season four. Wow. Until this problem can be resolved, the dangerous ground map will become temporarily inaccessible. 
Wow! Please note that this map will not be playable until the above issue has been fixed. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Alright, I mean, this stinks, obviously. Um, I really do like the new map. I really do enjoy it. The fact that it doesn't have a city or a navic portion. I really do enjoy the new map for those things specifically. It is rather unfortunate that they are taking it out so fast, but, you know, if it's unplayable, you know, it is what it is, right? This is the Dragon Ball The Breakers Development Team. Hello, Dragon Ball The Breakers Development Team. Again, nice, nice of you to check in after <coughs> five days. Uh, we have made an urgent adjustment to improve the matchmaking. Yes! Yes, I like that! When players select Raider on the role selection screen. Due to this adjustment, when players select Raider on the role selection screen, the preference will automatically go to Lex Raider. Um, so essentially, they're getting rid of Raider Q, and Raider Q is just Flex Q for Raider, okay. We will continue to work on modifications to ensure that the Raider and Flex Raider preferences work properly. We apologize for the inconvenience caused and sincerely thank you for your patience and understanding. All right. Well, since they're so understanding and so thankful for our patience, let's see what they gave us as a reward. Three tickets, three anniversary tickets for the game not working for about five days. Thanks, Breakers. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, dude. As somebody that has everything on the anniversary banner, I'm sure gonna love these three anniversary tickets that you just gave. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thanks. All right, so let's see what they actually did here. So it looks like they didn't gray out Raider Q. It looks like if you just click Raider Q, it's going to be Flex Raider. So let, let, let's actually try that out. Um, First off, let's see if I can actually play on the new map. They said they took it out, but I'm curious if I can even play it for practice. I'm just curious. Just to see for giggles and poopies. Poopies and giggles. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so previously, the new map, I used to have it selected for customs. But now Heaven is now selected in the bottom left. Uh, it is no longer there. Oh yeah, now I can't even select it anymore. It, it's taken out. That would have been cool. I should have just queued up saw what would have happened. But unfortunately, uh, they, they removed it for me. Um, so yeah, the new map is gone. I think, actually, what happens if I queue up? What happens? I'm just curious. <laughs> oh, something went wrong with the game or app. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, that's kind of me intentionally seeing if I could play on the map that they, they, they said they removed. So that, I'm, I'm going to give breakers the pass there. I'm not even going to report that error because that's on me. I, that's on me. That's on me. I, that, that was me kind of trolling. All right, guys. Um, so I kind of just talk to me, dude. How, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Um, they took out Raider Q. I have not played the game yet. I legitimately have not. I got to go to work in a little bit. But uh, how how is the magic making? Is it better? Is it worse? Is it about the same? Is it still not as good as it was before the launch of season four? Talk to me, because I, I I've heard a lot of people have mixed things about Raider Q when it was still like a thing. Some people told me they had no issues. Some people told me they were able to find survivor games. Me personally, I was getting booted out of the server regularly. Uh, long queues is something I faced regularly. Occasionally, I got fast survivor games within a minute. But regularly, it was long survivor queue matches. Flex queue didn't work. You get flex queue up to like 69. Haha, <laughs> funny sex number, I know. But like still, it would take that long. Um, Raider queue, you could be sitting in queues. One time, it took as fast as 12 minutes. I might upload that video about how long it took. I actually have a fun video going up soon. I was able to play six Dragon Ball Legends matches in between me waiting for my actual Raider Q match to start. So that was kind of ridiculous. So that video will be uh, going up soon. Look forward to that for some like pseudo Breakers Legends content. Uh, for me personally, the game was a mess. Absolutely a mess. Uh, things, the game was crashing. People were DC'd by using the Super Transfer. Uh, Q times were abysmal. So I, I think, although I know a lot of people are upset with Raider Q being removed, I do think it's a necessary evil because the game was not working, guys. The game was just straight up not working. So I feel like it was absolutely necessary that they did this. But what I think they should have done, because they implemented a PTS, a public test server, before the launch of Season 3, they should have experimented with Raider Q before season four launched what is the purpose of having the public test server if you're not going to use it i understand maybe they wanted to surprise us they wanted to hype us and arguably they did they did make us excited that they brought up raider q after not mentioning it for a very long time i was hyped 
but I was kind of hoping since it was gone for practically a year, it work, but it didn't, right? So like, I feel like again, it, you know, I think it, it was kind of silly to remove Raider Q and never experiment with it again since we have a PTS. They should have experimented with it in a PTS, got out all the kinks and the bugs and the issues then in the PTS like two months ago, because obviously if you release one of the most latest and cool Dragon Ball villains, be it being DBS Broly, I understand some people, people prefer Z, I get it but Super is more recent. It's arguably more hype to like a newer audience. So arguably everybody is going to be wanting to play the new Raider, right? Regar bro, it could have been Pui Pui. Everybody's going to want to try the new Raider. So bringing back Raider Q at the start of the season when everybody wants to try the new Raider, I don't think was the wisest choice on the Breakers team, just because I feel like they should have experimented with it. And a PTS, I understand, they probably want to excite us. They want to announce it in the live stream and like bang, 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 get everything that we ever wanted and like make us cream. I understand I creamed a little bit, but like at this point, my cream is soiled up and everything is dry and it looks disgusting because the game just didn't work. So, um, you know, I, I mean, I would queue up right now to experiment, but I kind of got to run. I got to dash. I'll experiment with it uh, tonight when I get back from work. Uh, I'll probably stream very soon. But I just want to give you guys uh, this update. Um, they removed Raider Q. They removed the new map. Let me know your thoughts. Are you upset? Are you content? Just, just because the game is hopefully working. I don't. I truly don't know. I have not tried out myself. I heard some people say the game is functional now. Like it's functional. But it's still not as good as it was prior to Season 4 in terms of matchmaking. Um, but yeah guys. Let me know what you, what you think. Do you still want Raider Q? If this is going to be an issue, do you still want them to try it? Or are you happy with Flex and Survivor Only Q? Do you even want to bother with Raider Q anymore? I know a lot of people want Raiders with friends back. Guys, they're not bringing that back ever again. Listen, they're introducing rank. Events are a thing now. It's, it's never happening, guys. I'm sorry. I, like, I understand. Like, this isn't me. Like trying to like shield the breaker devs like you guys keep asking for survivor with, with raiders raiders with friends and you like stop being mean stop being this isn't even me like being a white knight to the breakers team i'm just trying to be honest i'm trying to be upfront. they're not bringing raider with friends guys they're not bringing it back i'm gonna make a whole video discussing that later but like you gotta understand they're incorporating rank they're incorporating events if you did raider with friends you could abuse events you could abuse the rank system I understand that that may be a fraction of the player base, but if we want this game to grow, it's going to be on PS Plus tomorrow. People are going to abuse it, bro. I'm sorry. This like there isn't like angels out there, bro. People are going to abuse it, especially when it comes to the rank, man. Especially when it comes to rank. As another video, we'll discuss it later. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Whether I just talked about Raider with friends, Raider Q being removed, the new map being removed, Broly himself anything regarding season four let me know your thoughts do you think they ruined uh the anniversary do you think it's still salvageable are you still hyped for the new transfers that were leaked let me know because i understand you know we had a very rocky start i i think content wise they nailed it they absolutely nailed it unfortunately just when it came to execution nothing really paid off i'm just glad i was personally able to take advantage of raider q i got Broly to level 67 so clearly, like, you know, it was somewhat effective Raider Q, but like, I'm not going to lie, guys. I sat in wait times 112 minutes, 60 minutes, 75 minutes. One time I got a Raider match in 12 minutes. I was like, whoa, is this like, is this what it looks like when it works? Like, that was crazy to me. But anyways, guys, that's the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the Iron Cane channel for more Dragon Ball The Breakers updates, discussions, rants, news, leaks live streams, all that good stuff. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, have fun. And uh, I gotta I got take this tie off, man. It's just like, I just like, I, I, gotta, I gotta take this off, bro. I look like, I, I, people are gonna say, Hollywood Iron, Hollywood Iron. I, I was just, I came back from a job interview, okay? All right, guys, all right, see ya. Have a good one.